Assembly. Your kit comes with the following items. A screw on off 0.1 micron filter with a cap. Hose. Threaded hose coupling. Filter hanger. Threaded bucket tongue adapter. Two rubber washers. Plastic nut. Backwash plunger. Cleaning coupling. Drill bit. And an instructional sticker. First, find a food grade plastic container to attach the filter to. It can be a five gallon or 20 liter bucket, a rubbish can, or 200 liter barrel or drum. Avoid containers that previously stored chemicals or paint. Use a 13 16th drill bit to cut a hole about one and a half inches or four centimeters from the bottom of the bucket. This allows dirt to settle on the bottom of the bucket. You can do this by hand. However, a power drill will speed up the process. After cutting the hole, make sure to remove any loose pieces of plastic as these can lead to a leak in the seal. Take a rubber washer and place it over the threads of the bucket tongue adapter and insert the adapter through the hole on the outside of the bucket. The small wedge side of the washer should touch the bucket. Place the second rubber washer on the bucket tongue adapter on the inside of the bucket. Again, the small wedge side of the washer should touch the bucket. Attach the plastic nut to the threads of the bucket tongue adapter on the inside of the bucket and tighten the nut so it is good and hand tight to avoid any leaks. Connect the hose to the stem of the bucket tongue adapter. Attach the gray threaded coupling to the other side of the hose. Then, take the filter hanger and slide it up the back side of the filter. Screw the filter onto the gray hose coupling and hang it on the side of the bucket. Only hand tighten, don't over tighten by using any tools. Filtering water. When filtering turbid or muddy water, pre-filtering the water with a cloth or t-shirt before running it through the filter will help maintain the flow rate. To start the flow of water, remove the cap on the filter and simply lower the filter down. You also wanna make sure the top bucket is vented. So if you are using a lid, make sure to slightly unseal the lid from the bucket. If the top bucket is not vented, a vacuum could be created inside of the bucket because there is no way for air to escape. This will slow down your flow rate. To turn off the filter, simply hang it from the side of the bucket and screw the cap back on. Avoid letting the filter dry without cleaning and backwashing it. Backwashing with the cleaning plunger. Clean your filter often to help maintain the flow rate. We recommend cleaning the filter after each five gallon or 20 liter bucket, or at least once a day before you go to bed. First, you wanna reserve a glass or cup of filtered water. Then, empty your dirty bucket. Next, fill the included cleaning plunger with filtered water. With the filter still attached to the hose, remove the filter cap and insert the plunger onto the tip of the filter so you will be pushing water in the reverse direction of the arrow on the filter label. Backwash the clean water through the filter and directly into the dirty bucket. The first plunger full should be the most forceful. Repeat this process at least three times or until the backwashed water runs clear. Discard the backwashed water from the dirty water bucket when you're finished cleaning. Backwashing with the cleaning coupling. First, reserve a clean plastic bottle full of clean, filtered water. Then, empty your dirty bucket. With the filter still connected to the hose, screw the cleaning coupling onto the drinking side of the filter. Screw the bottle of clean water onto the cleaning coupling. Tip upside down and squeeze forcefully. Backwash straight into the dirty water bucket and repeat this process several times until the water comes through clear and easily. Discard the backwashed water from the dirty water bucket when you're finished cleaning. Additional cleaning instructions. If backwashing doesn't adequately clean your filter, try alternating forward and backwards flushing. To do this, fill the cleaning plunger with clean water and push water forwards through the filter with the direction of the flow arrow, followed by pushing water backwards against the flow arrow. Repeat backwashing forwards and backwards until the filter is fully cleaned. If backwashing doesn't get your filter flowing again, we recommend soaking the filter in warm water for two hours to loosen up any sediment in the fibers before backwashing. The water should be warm enough that you can stick your hand in it. If your water source is mineral rich, soak the filter in vinegar for half an hour, followed by forceful backwashing with warm water. It is best to keep your filter, backwash plunger, 
and bucket components out of direct sunlight. Keep it out of reach of children and protect it so it is not used as a toy. Always filter water into a decontaminated storage vessel or else you run the risk of recontaminating the water. Make sure you wash out the containers you are using with soap or bleach on a regular basis. You can also remove the cap and wash it regularly since dirty hands may have been touching it. Never run soapy water through the filter.